Hi, this is Jerry Kennedy. I just wanted to show you a little bit about what we do with photo editing and how it's done, or at least how um, I edit photos. Um, take a look. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go through, and this is using Adobe Lightroom, and find a photo that we like. So let's say we want to use this photo. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to adjust my settings. Um, usually auto gets it kind of close, so I'm using a loop deck console. So, kind of go down a little bit here, adjust our shadows, highlights. Let's try to get the photo really as close as we can get it in Lightroom, and then we're going to send it over to Photoshop after this. Adjust your vibrance, saturation. Um, also like to do uh, my noise reduction here just a little bit, but I'm still going to run it through a skin filter when we get to Photoshop. So then we do that, then we're going to crop um, to 5.4, which is what most people want for like Instagram photos, Facebook, stuff like that. Okay, so here we got a pretty good photo. Adjust our lighting so we get it kind of a, close to where we want it. And that's pretty close there. So um, then once we get our photo pretty close, we're going to send it over to Photoshop. <clears throat> this is not a tutorial. This is just a quick, like, narrative, <laughs> pretty much. So go here. We're going to adjust our neutral filters to skin smoothing. Um, this is going to adjust um, any of the skin tones and just kind of make it look really nice and neat. So after, the next thing we need to do is adjust our background. So I'm going to select um, the subject. I'm going to go to inverse. Um, so now it's going to let me kind of go here and um, adjust the settings. I'm going to start with a clone. And because the clone's really going to keep the background fairly intact. Now this is flickering a little bit because I'm actually recording the screen as well. So, we're going to do our background here, make it look nice and neat so it's not too crazy. Bring it over, all the way over, Let me adjust my opacity here a little bit. This way, when you do it like this, it won't hit your subject and mess things up. Because <laughs> if you do, if you don't select your subject, you're going to go in and start messing things up. <laughs> so now I've got my background pretty close to where I want it. Um, as at least as much as I want to do with the cloning thing. So then I'm going to go to my brush. I'm going to pick out a color on the side. Same thing on the other side. Blend it out a little bit. Fade it in. It's blending. Okay, I'm going to take some darker colors. Just to put in there a little bit more. Uh, we're basically just painting the image. Okay, so now I've got that part done. So um, I'm going to deselect my image. I'm going to zoom in to about 100%. And this is where I'm going to retouch the eyes. So when you do this, you definitely don't want it really strong. So I'm going to take my opacity down to about, I like to use about 10. So I'm going to fix my eye adjustments. Take out any like shadows. Let's 
see what we got. That looks pretty good. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my collaring. So go to collar balance. Um, that's a little bit too yellow and a little bit too red. So I'm going to take that out. You want to stay away from the yellows and greens. That's pretty good there. I kind of like that. That looks pretty good. All right, so there we have it. <laughs> um, thanks for watching.